hello hello everyone welcome back to another video all right so today's video we are back at the creeper farm we're actually flying back to the main base so today back at the base we're going to be changing something up quite a bit so we have this river that runs through the main house area and i really wanted to make some sort of design um, when it comes to the terrain around here. So let's jump down here to the ground level and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so if you watched a few episodes ago, you'll know that we were really working on our trees. We did some cool designs over there, especially with this one. I love how this tree turned out right here. And so around my base, um, you could see in that video, we did something with the river, which looks like this. We took a lot of rock blocks and some foliage and made some sort of... Uh, texture along the bottom of the river but what we didn't do is the sides so in a few of my dreams lately i have non-stop been thinking about this and i wanted to do this so bad on this world i would absolutely love to make this river right here look like a painting with a bunch of trees foliage all sorts of blocks craziness absolute craziness down in here and i think it absolutely has to be done so i am super excited to get started on this today i think this is gonna be a great one so um right off the bat we're gonna need some coral because i want to throw that in here i've already got our stone blocks that we need and we're just gonna need a bunch of leaves afterwards so let's get collecting Okie dokie, our main little design is done with all the little rocks and grass. You can see how much it changed, but now comes the fun part with all of the coral. Let's go. This is going to completely transform this area. It's going to look so cool. So I am taking each different color block. As you can see, we just did the pink one first. Now I'm going with yellow and I'm kind of doing a technique that I would refer to as a noise, which is um, you take each different color and you kind of sprinkle them throughout randomly, but close enough to each other that it ends up making a color in the end. So the whole reason I wanted to do this was this is going to really liven up this whole little section because obviously it was very brown, very gray, lots of dark colors. And I wanted to have a nice contrast since we're in that coral reef area by using these blocks. These are really going to help accentuate and bring out, um, you know, that whole coral area that we're in, which is going to, uh, that's really the vibe I'm going for. So I think this is going to be super sick once we finish it, but it's going to be a little tedious. All right, now comes the fun part. We have all these little coral blocks here, the tube coral, horn coral, fire coral, and a bubble coral and uh, i didn't realize how many different variations there are and basically on every different color block so like for example this one we have a blue one i'm gonna place say a pink one like this because that's gonna help really emphasize those different colors so this is gonna take a while but it's gonna be worth it i'm gonna try to do my best to um, place them on very opposite colors so this one's a little similar so maybe we'll do yellow next time but that's what's going to really transform this as we swim through the water look at this man this is so cool officially we have the rainbow river Wow, 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 wow. Is that not so very cool? Have a look at that. Oh my gosh, it looks so lush. I love it. We've got so many different little details here. You can see I've used the string on top of the sugar cane to stop it from growing. I've done that with the bamboo as well. We've got these lovely little cattails with lily pads here. There's just so much foliage and coral in the river. I absolutely am obsessed with it i love the way that this looks this is what i pictured this river to look like i just oh man that whole vibe of just being completely overcome with nature down this river is exactly what i was going for i mean look at that there's a few more things we have to do which i think i'm going to add a few of these little trees in there but 
Shall we build a rock? I feel like we should build a rock. All right, let's have a look here. Where would the rock be best? I'm thinking right in this spot right there. Oh boy, hang on. I just realized <laughs> we need to put string on top of that one. It's going to grow too tall. Stop it. All right, so that would leave us, I think, around this region right here. So it's not going to be huge. It's going to be a pretty simple one, but we're going to build this together. So I'm going to start with cobbled deep slate stairs and kind of make some sort of like a uh, pattern like this where it can um, sit in the center of this because I don't again, I don't want it to be massive. So then we're going to transition to smooth basalt. This is going to be our like intermediate block. I feel like that is kind of a good shape. Yeah, I'm happy with that. And so from that block, we're going to go to tough. Uh, we're going to use the tough stairs to transition us here. I'm actually going to adjust this one. So we'll add some smooth basalt in there. And then we'll move to this block, which is the tough stairs. And then from the tough stairs, we can go to the regular tough. And I think I'm going to add a slab on top here. And I'm just going to put some of the normal slabs in as well to kind of look like pebbles or stones that are um, extruding. Is that a word? Extruding? Protruding from the ground? I think that's what I was going for. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. And then I made some stone buttons as well. I feel like this would be cool. We did this with the trees, obviously, over there. I wanted to try it with a rock and just kind of throw these uh, stone buttons in here like so. Maybe one on the ground as well. I feel like that's a pretty cool look. I'm actually not too happy with how this peak looks up here. I feel like that's a little weird. So I'm going to switch it up and I'm going to use uh, a, a tough stair and place it like so. And I feel like that's a pretty good rock. That looks like a rock to me. Uh, but I am going to add a stair in here i'm just going to put it the other way so now you can kind of see it like blends into the landscape a little bit more um i would love if this actually was like um it, it, can you see what i mean like if this just kind of blended in a little bit better like that and then we can put the button on the side all right we've got lots of foliage in there there is our rock you can just ever so slightly see it in the corner there it all adds to the uh, final thing, but the last thing we need to build is our trees. So we're going to be using uh, the same materials that we used over on this one, which is tough walls, spruce buttons. We've got some basalt, and then we, it looks like we've got birch leaves, oak leaves, green stained glass, and some spruce fences. So let's get ourselves organized with that. I think I might mix in some azalea leaves as well. And uh, I think I'm probably going to build like five or six of them. Um, you can already see how I've done it here. It's very, very straightforward. Uh, we just have the blocks then the walls into the fences. And then we just kind of place leaves around the outside and glass at random to uh, kind of make everything look all situated. So um, the next shot you will see is lots of lovely little trees along the side of the river. And well... There are our trees. Isn't that excellent? I absolutely love how that turned out. This is the most lush river I have ever seen in my entire life. But I think there is one more thing we need to do. And that is that I can't stop visualizing a waterfall over here right on this corner. I just feel like a waterfall would be absolutely perfect to fall about right in this spot right here so i don't want it to be a very large one but i do want one to kind of go right through here and land right in this area right here i feel like that would be absolutely excellent so i think that's the last thing we're going to do for today and then we'll call it wraps from there but i absolutely love how this turned out i just realized i never ended up making this tree right here so let's finish that real quick all right, that looks pretty good to me. So let's do this waterfall. This is going to be interesting. So I think what I'm going to do is outline it with like andesite and just kind of make I want it to be almost like a stream waterfall. Don't want it to be massive or anything like that. So just going to outline something that kind of snakes a little through here and we'll add some leaves to it on the edges and kind of have it sit right in this area right here.
All right, so that's the rough outline I was picturing, but now I want to make it look really nice. So we're going to make a whole bunch of slabs and stairs and just go in there and kind of jag it up the pattern, if you will. All right, what do we think of that? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's definitely B-dubs inspired, but I don't know. I don't think I did it as good as they did. I would love to cover that up somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but I do have these blue stained glass panes i feel like we could mix these in there and kind of get a little bit more color out of it if we do it that way i felt like that just made everything worse by doing that definitely works better when they're like singular singular glass panes if you will uh and they don't connect to each other uh, it's connecting there um Kind of like if you do something like that. I feel like if I take this uh, this one here and try to cover this up as much as I can. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know. Let me know your thoughts on the waterfall below. All right. I think that is our river finish. That is absolutely stunning. I love how that turned out. So, so lush. And then obviously we walk over here and we have this lovely rock with these trees and the waterfall. I really got to see this with shaders on. I don't play with shaders much, but I have to check it out. Oh my gosh. Look at this sight line. That is unbelievable. Wait, 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 wait. I hope the sun doesn't. I need the sun to stay right there. Look at that. That is. Wow. That just left me speechless. Wow. That is incredible. Man, I need it to be the morning again. Those sun rays shining through there. Look at this. Look at how awesome this looks. I am... I've... Very rarely do I say this, but I've actually impressed myself today. I did not think I could build like that. That is some of the best foliage I think I've ever built in Minecraft ever. This is what I wanted to check out. Oh, yes, that is that is astonishing. Wow, 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 man. I've got nothing else to say. I'm just like at a loss for words. Look at how good that looks. All right, I just grabbed a few little things. This is going to be the last thing we're going to do for today. I just wanted a few of these uh, drip leaves that I could place around. I have no idea if you can place them underwater. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. They got to be... Uh, going out from the water but i wanted to put them where we have these little uh cattail arrangements over here so uh for whatever reason it doesn't want to be put on that one maybe you can't place it on uh can't place it on sand that seems to be the case all right well the whole reason we went down there was to grab these because these are going to be excellent for um oh well they have to be placed on a full block don't they right there and that's gonna allow that uh little thing to show up those guys and so these green whatever um if you guys remember they were going to add fireflies to minecraft but they just never ended up adding them so i feel like these little things look like bugs to me <laughs> so that's why i wanted them over here is because this just feels like it would be an area filled with little uh little insects and bugs so i forgot you couldn't place them on leaves though so we're gonna have to find some uh interesting locations to put them in i guess we could put one right there all right i think that is going to do it i am very happy with that that that's just about everything i wanted to do there but i've got to see it one more time with the shaders i have to oh my goodness especially with the uh the spore blossom now that is excellent oh it looks so good it looks so good from right here as well because of the the leaves and the the spore blossom working together oh man this might be my favorite build i've made well i've very much impressed myself today i very much have impressed myself today Anyways, here's what it's like without the shaders. So I'll show you guys everything that we did in case you want to do something like this for yourselves. So first off, we started with andesite and cobble deep slate as well as tough slabs. And we kind of sprinkled those all throughout the bottom. And uh, that got us the dark texture for the rocks at the bottom of the river. 
Then from that point onwards, I think we moved on to bone mealing the river so we could get a lot of seagrass and kelp in there. From there, I think we added the coral and the coral is what really transformed this and made it super colorful. And then from the coral, uh, we did the actual, um, the fans, I think is what they're called. These guys right here. And then we just added some leaves and some kelp to finish it off. And then we went with uh, a lot of foliage designs here. So we have these cattails. We have sugarcane bamboo with string on it. So it only grows to a certain height. And then we built our custom trees as well. I feel like the trees really kind of seal the deal here in this one especially from this sight line and all that it just really does wonders i wish i would have built one maybe right in there maybe i'll do that off camera but as for today that's going to do it for this video of course let's answer the comment of the day all right while i'm flying back here i did just want to say that uh i probably will not be continuing the wind temple for a couple of episodes that video did really poor for some reason <laughs> the last one that i uploaded and it didn't seem like people were all that interested in it which is totally fine sometimes in youtube you upload stuff and you fail so it just is the way it goes so we will probably be sticking to uh just building stuff around the base for the time being so um yeah, if, you, if there's enough demand for it, I will return to building the temples. But as for now, it doesn't seem like that many people are interested in that whole idea. So that will be put on the shelf for now. All right, today's comment of the day comes from Try Marked, and they say your dreams are very interesting. A building idea can just spawn in a dream and then you can just bring it to life. And I thought this was a really interesting comment because this was something that I actually wanted to discuss quite a bit that happens to me, which is that I, for the most part, a lot of the builds that I have in Minecraft are stuff that comes from my dreams. So... That's how dedicated I am to the game. I am sleeping and always thinking about it. And I don't know why that happens. I have absolutely no clue why I dream of Minecraft so much. But for some reason, every time I'm sleeping, I tend to have some sort of artistic vision when it comes to this game. And I envision some sort of build. And that's usually where a lot of this stuff comes from. For example, this river came from a dream. And I think a lot of it has to do with just stuff that I see online. Like, usually that's how dreams are triggered, is you see something during the day, you forget about it, and then when you're sleeping, your brain kind of wakes itself up and remembers what it is that you saw, and kind of, like, transforms it into a weird thing. And so, this build was, I think, something that I had seen on Instagram, and had liked it, thought it was cool, and then just forgot about it, and then I had a dream that you know, my Minecraft world had this insane river in it. And so we ended up bringing that to life. And so a lot of these builds in this world are like that. They spawn from dreams and we just end up turning it into a reality. So I thought that comment was cool because um, that just shows that you can find inspiration for Minecraft in a lot of different things. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. I absolutely love how this build turned out. I think it might be one of my favorites in my world. It's just very calming, very relaxing, and I love the fact that it just gives off that very nature-consumed vibe. Anyways, that is going to be it for today's video. If you guys haven't already please be sure to like comment and subscribe we are on the push to 5,000 subscribers we are very very close and i also did want to mention that um i'm sure some of you have seen it we have been streaming a lot i've been playing on an smp that my friends and i are hosting and uh yeah we've just been streaming it quite a bit we're doing some really really cool stuff over there so if you see the streams please be sure to tune in because there's a lot of cool builds going on over there anyways that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. That's about it.